Fallout Phonetics to the final, final, maybe final, finale uh, for the Let's Build at Tavington Boathouse Alien Crash Site uh, Overfeeding the Fish Settlement. A little bit of everything. So, let's see. We are pretty much almost done. Uh, in the last episode, we did a little decorating on this house over here, including a nice little uh, sketchy toilet. And we are going to move on. I still did not uh, look to see if I could find the little uh, extra naughty things here that uh, I've been talking about in the previous episodes. But um, whatever, we're just going to move along. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll stumble across them now. Who knows? Anywho, we got our little green cottage here and our little store type looking thing here which yeah this is going to be some sort of store I guess and um, I don't know maybe I'll set up a fishing seat here as well so that uh, customers can come in and catch their own fish and maybe this is a, uh, a uh, seafood place where you come catch your own fish and then they gut it for you and and all that kind of stuff I think that's what we're gonna do with that but uh, before we get to that let's go ahead and decorate this monstrosity and that dude's just kind of like standing there all creepy like with the the lights on him he looks a little sketchy so um I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this place and we're just gonna kind of start picking out some stuff and throwing it in here and see what we can do let's see where do I want to start um hmm no let's go to homemaker Let's get some decorations. Maybe we'll get inspired by something. Uh, you know what? Miscellaneous interior. We have a pot. Lots of pots. Toilet paper. Whatever that was. Oh, a little board. Hmm. Nothing really inspiring at the moment. I don't really have plans when I do this type of stuff. I just kind of wing it for the most part. And I'm not really seeing what I want, so let's go to furniture. Uh, let's see what kind of seats we have. We've got chairs, benches, couches. Let's look at couches. Hmm. Got an old ratty one here. It's not bad. Maybe we don't want to do that, though. Maybe... Nah. Doesn't really fit the decor. You know what? Hang on. Let's go to our regular beds here. Maybe I'm going to use the theme of the campground cottage thing here. We'll just throw a bunch of bunk beds in here and uh, kind of make it like a camping thing. All right, oops, functional. Zip through all these other beds. Come on, bunk beds. There we go. Now we got some bunky beds. Hunky dunky bunky beds. All right, let's put one more and one here and one in the center. Why not? There's apparently six people chilling in this place. Hope that's enough beds. Let's see, we got 12 beds and 10 people. Sweet! And, uh, might add some more beds throughout this settlement, because I need to add more people as well. So, in keeping with, uh, kind of camping thing, let's, uh, keep this pretty simple. That's an old ratty couch for a camping, uh, cottage, uh, thingamajigga here. We'll put one of those bad boys in here. Uh, tables. Let me get something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Nah. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, we got this. What about this guy? Maybe, uh. Maybe. We'll take that out and put a picnic table in here. Let's get you all the way over against the wall. Scoot you in a little bit. Actually, probably could go right up against the wall because you don't really need space behind you, I don't think. That'll do. Now we got a picnic -a table. And you know what? I will be nice. Gets hot in the summers. Let's um give them a ceiling fan. Let's turn that off and let's pop it right here. Oop, there you go. Not exactly fair because <laughs> it really just only kinda cools the person in the center. Persons, but Whatever. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, what else we got? Um, you know what? Let's throw a bunch of these doors in here. Why not? This is supposed to be like rustic camp. 
Let's throw these in here. Boom. Cool. All right, what else can we throw in here? Um, decorations. We want a flag? Maybe. Let's get them. Hmm. Let's give them... Eh. Pack flag. Eh. Yeah, whatever. There's a... Nah, forget it. I don't want that. Change my mind. Desk flags. You know what? It's camp. They need some food. We've got a little space out here. Let's put another grill. Kind of like the one we did for, um... Uh, over there at, uh, Mayor McCheese's house. Um... I don't remember where I got that from. Let's let's see what we have in crafting. We do have that other campfire type stuff going on, like this guy and and that guy. But uh, no, I don't really trust kids with something like that. So we'll move along. Let's see what else we have. Um, nah. All right. So let's just go back to the other one. Let's see. Was that? I think that was under decorations and themes and BBQ. Maybe they'll get one of these dudes, too. We'll give them... First a grill. Ratty old grill. Perfect. Gonna park that right there. Do we want one of these bad boys? You know what? Let's swap it out. We already did that one. We're gonna do one of these. One of these bad boys. Boom. Now we're talking. That uh, screams campsite. Just shove that right there. Oh, we got all this room hanging. Let's back that up a little. You don't want it too close, though, because you don't want to set the whole cabin on fire. So, all right, we're gonna give them. Hmm. Right here. Boop. <laughs> because why not? Makes sense to me. All right. And of course, you know we have to have fire. So let's get some fire in here. Uh, maybe not one of these. Maybe... You know what? I actually probably could use this. Let's stick you there. Let's yer, 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 shrink you down a little. And we're gonna pick you up. Kinda stick you in there. Like so. Maybe shrink you down a little bit, because we do have that piece that kinda sticks up. Kinda bugging me. Uh, let's try that now. Let's see how you look. Get you down in here. Just like that. Boom! Look at that. We got ourselves a nice little campfire thing going there. Cool! Um, now let me see if I can find something I can stick on there. Food-wise, I do have an idea. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. G2M. Do, 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 do. Um, nope, wrong section. Furniture, decoration, actually, no, I think it's, there we go. Power, decoration. Oh, these were the other things I was trying to remember. Okay. That's where they were. See, these are all, like, nautical theme type dealy stuff. Let's go all over that thing there. Cool, now we know where it is. So, okay. Oh, that's not going to work. There's a single fishy. Let me see. How much do you swim? How much do you move? Where'd you go? Oh, he's just like floating in the air. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know if I can make him stay still or not. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, we don't want hooks. That's where kids get hurt. Back to the decorations. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ooh, there's some fishies. They're all hanging fishies, though. I want one that's kind of sideways. Might be able to enable that guy sideways. <laughs> Let's just kind of stand him here for now. We'll stick him like this. And, uh... Alright, let's see if I can change my axes here. No, Alright, I gotta do this by mouse. Let's just unplug the controller. Okay. That sort of works. Not kind of direction I wanted it to go. Let's try that again. Oh, that's a little better. That'll work. Let's uh, shrink that fishy down a little. Okay, now let's see if I can pick him up without him moving in the direction I don't want him to. 
Oh, perfect. Look at this. You got a fish on the bobby. Boom. We are grilling fish. Love it. Let's uh, get him over a little more. Oh, jeez. I broke him. Hang on. I hate that when you move something like this and you go to pick it up, it like shifts around. Perfect. Kids are eating a fish. Cool. All right. Let's um back over here and furniture and containers and there we go. I want to give these kids a bunch of these things. Let's turn our surface snapping on. Got somewhere to store your hidden cupcakes and whatnot. Stick that bar. Boom. That works. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to shove in here? Um, actually, you know what? We can put some plates and whatnot on here. Let's see, what do we got? Creative clutter rooms, kitchen, place settings. Um, let's see, what do we got? Well, that's too much trouble. There we go. Just put a bunch of these in place. Put one more. I have a feeling I have to reposition that one. <laughs> Let's put that there. For oh, geez, yeah, these are way off. Hey. There we go. Stick that guy there. That guy goes here. That one's not too schnabby. The oh, geez. They're way off again. All about the perspective. Let's do that. There we go. Now we know we're... Oh, just floating in the middle of the air. Go up a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I gotta fix that one. Kind of glitching. There we go. Drop that one down, bring it back up. Just a smidgen. Perfect. Oh, jeez. And we'll... Oh, man, what are you doing? Let's just do that, and then I'll fix them. Erp, erp. Good enough. Alright. You go here. Of course, you just want to float, so whatever, I'll just leave you like that for a moment. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, no! They're tied together. I hate it when that happens. I don't know why that happens, either. That's just kind of redonkulous. But it is what it is. All right, let's see. You go there. Oh, jeez, they're tied together again. Stop doing that. All right, you just go over there. So annoying. Oh, and it's still tied! What the crud? Ugh, let's see what happens now. Okay, these two are fine. Or I should say this one's fine. Oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, but see, then when I pick it up on its own, it's perfectly fine. So, whatever. There we go. Okay, it's done. I'm done. I'm not fighting with dishes anymore. All right, let's put a door on it and quit it. All right, structure words. Wood. Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with a barn door. Gotta get an auto close. Oh, we have green too. Sweet. Let's just use a regular green. I already used one of the other. And uh, I think that one down over there. Cool. That one's done. All right. Oh yeah. Duh, duh. Save. Exalt. Excellent. So we have our fishy swimming down in there, and we're gonna turn this into a fish market. So we need to find the. I think there's one in here for more. Not there's. There we go. NPC cutting of fishies. Let's kind of stick you here. We'll put you there. Boop. Oh, jeez, you're not even close to where I thought you would be. Put you there. Nice. Now we need a table. That's a chair. Need a table. Um, let's see. Oh, that one fits. Put that there. Awesome. Then we need a counter. I want to use Snappy, because they have that, um, those nice glass counters. I forget what they're called off the top of my head. Foynicha. Oh, not here. Um, Federal's counter. There we go. This way we can display... The fishies and whatnot. I'm gonna throw a bunch of fish in here, I guess. 
just because we can. And sadly, these don't snap. They should. Can make my life kind of difficult, or some of them do, I think. Let me see. That doesn't snap. Alright, let's put it there. Snap on this side? No. No. Really? Ugh, you smell. Okay. Let's pick you up and drop you right about there. Need to have some room back here to work. And then we'll need another another centerpiece here. Let's see. Uh, let's put you... Oh, I have this one backwards, too. Dum-dum. Alright, let's try that again. Boop. And let's put you... Actually, you're going to end up being a little different because of that bump in the floor. So we'll have to accommodate for that. Do that. And doop, doop, doop. Drop you over. And then, oof, we got to line you up. Let me turn off my surface snapping so I can just kind of nudge this. Of course, you're crooked as all hell. <laughs> so let's fix that. Uh, let's just line you up right there like that. The wood. Mm, just like that. Okay. And then we'll bring you. Aww. Sure. I'm, and I'm still a little crooked. There we go. Alright. And. Blend you two together. And oof. Straighten you. Like so. How does that look? Hey, not too shabby. You still gotta go down a little bit. There we go. Alright. And we'll throw you into the mix. Like so. Cool. Now let's do a quick save before I bork it. Alright. We have a count hall. Now we gotta get some of those fishies in here somehow. Hmm. I remember. Oh yeah, that's right. They were in G2M. Here. And for harbor decoration. I has an idea. I think. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> We're gonna cheat. Boom. We got fishies and stuff in there. Um oh geez, that's too big, too big. <laughs> I love the expression on the fish's face. He's like, I've been caught. Um, you know, we got another fish basket. Let's just kind of shove one up here because we can. Um, I'll just kind of like throw these in there. Who cares if they're hanging up? Maybe I'll stick some hooks in here or something after. Maybe, you know what? Let's just put some hooks in here. Where'd my hooks go? Oh, look at that. It hooks right onto them. Cool. We'll put one there. And, uh, put one there. And turn off the snapping, because they want to snap to each other, which is silly. Up in there, there, and there. Now let's get some fishes. Oh, turn my snapping back on. Dumb. There we go. Let's put a big one there. Little guy there. That one there. I don't care if they're bleeding through the glass. Who cares? Uh, maybe it's water. There you go. It's water. Everybody, that's water. Um, let's put that guy there. Yeah, that's just them being kept fresh in water. And I probably could... Oh, Jesus, that looks terrible from this side. <laughs> you couldn't really see the glass before, but now you can. Oh, man, that's too funny. Hmm. We might have to change this out. Because that's just kind of ridiculous. Um, let's see. For that, then, let's try... Yes, Decorations WDP, which I believe stands for Workshop Decoration Package. And actually, let's see, do we have... Um, I don't they have the, the empty ones in here? Let me see. Let's just go to Vendor to... Oh, geez. Uh, General Clothes Clinic Bar. Eh, bar, I guess. And let's see, I think... That, yeah, they all have... Decorations, and I could have sworn I had somewhere in here some blank ones. Don't remember where I've seen them though. Hmm. 
question. Let's see. It's the same thing for all of them. Aren't you showing up? There we go. Hmm. Well, let me check the actual vendor section. There might be uh, something in here. Signs, clothing clinic, food and drink. Um, actually, I think... Yeah, this should be... Oh, and of course I can't get to it because I don't have cap collector. Really? Uh, I don't even know. Actually, you know what? I have 10,000... Yeah, le oh, only two level ups. I thought I had way more. Oh, that's right. This is under a different save than my other one. Okay. So, let me see if I can find my cap collector. Oh, and I can't get any further. Why not? Car's level 20. Yeah, I'm working with, like, a character that has, like, no experience because I haven't even played the game with this character. I've just gone straight into um, building, essentially. So, let's see if that was enough to get me what I need. Oh, it's got to be level two. All right. We're going to cheat, folks. We are going to cheat. And you know what? I'm just going to say to heck with it and get all the perks. So there's no limitation, so I can just build anything. So let's see. Specials and perks. Oops. Perks. Strength. Here, here, here. Add all. Yeah, this is how you cheat. I don't condemn it or condone it. That's completely up to you. And like I said, I'm not even playing the game. I'm just building. So, not like I'm really cheating in that sense. And all those. And we'll just go straight down. Get them all. There's the cap collector. You know what? Let's just... I don't know why I did that because it didn't really matter, but we're not going to add them all anyway. Ah, uh, Yep. Black Widow perk. That is actually one of my all-time favorite perks. I've mentioned it when I did my playthrough. That's why I, oops, I uh, usually do a female character in these games because of the Black Widow perk. It uh, gets you exclusive dialogue and it also um, gives you more damage towards uh, male enemy characters, which there are more uh, oops, Jeez, crackers. More male characters, enemy characters, than there are female, so it actually is quite beneficial if you did not know any of that. Okay. I think we're almost done with this. We've got uh, luck, and I'm not going to mess with the companion stuff because I don't care. All perks. Yay. Okay. Let's try this again. Everything should be hunky dunky. Yay. And see, that's got shells in it, too. Let's see how the... Let's just do it right out here. See how the fishies fit in here. Okay, go back to G2M. Far Harbor. Throw a hook, like, right up in here. And go to decorations. Find a fishy. Unhooked fishy. Yeah, see, it's still kind of... I mean, it's at least... Oh, jeez, I didn't even get it in there. <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> yeah, 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 all right, there we go. Now put that in there. Yeah, see, it's still going to glitch through the thing there. Hmm. You know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to say it's fine. Who cares? Right? Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. We also need... Decorations, go back to uh, themes. <coughs> and let's find what we're dun, 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 dun. Retail. Some cash registers for all the fish we're selling. We'll just stick one there. That's good enough. Alright. And let's see. Actually, know what themes. Nautical. No, not really what I'm looking for. So, we're going to go back to G2M because I want to set up some more of those other fish ones. Yeah, here we go. 
the ones that are already like populated by fish. I'm just gonna like throw some of these in here to make this place look like it's hopping. Throw this back here. These are all the fresh catches of the day. I'll stick some here. Oh. Fairly simple, fairly easy. We don't have to go crazy with all kinds of hoopla. And boop. Put that there. Now, I think... Let's see. No idea if that's going to be in the vanilla settlement or not. I highly doubt it. No, it's way... Yeah. So I don't even know if uh, I'm going to try and create a character and stick him in here to run this place, and we'll see if they'll actually stay there. So, I need... Um, right, let's just try a regular one. Trader, armor, weapons, food and drink. And we'll use maximum rug I can, which is... Zoop, this guy, restaurant level 3. Which, not showing up. Why not? Where are you? Really? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right, nothing's locked now. Yeah, I got everything. Just my assets are not showing. Okay, let's just try that again. Okay, so there's that. And... Um... Oh, was I being stupid? I was being stupid. Never mind. Why are there no rugs in here? Okay, let's just, um, yeah, brain fart moment. Go back to WDP, vendors, I think I only have, yeah, bars as close as I can get, which I think is all the same anyway, so let's go to the maximum. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's stick you here. I'll maybe bring you over a little bit so you're not, hopefully not conflicting with the, oh jeez, I really borked that one. It's, uh, whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh man. Alright, let's turn our surface snap around. There we go. Make sure we're not conflicting with anything. Stick that there. And then, let's create a person. Oh, uh, hopefully, let's kind of get over here in this corner. Because a lot of times when I go to create somebody, they'll end up, like, in the weirdest of places. Alright, uh, game alterations, world manipulation... Nope, workshop. Dum-dum. Spawny settler. Rendo settler. Hey, alright. You. Oh, jeez. Come here and be the fish maiden. Got it. Nice. Whoa! She just teleported. Holy crap! She teleported right to it. That was so cool. I've never seen that before, and I love the fact that she's actually here. Hopefully, she will stay here because we're outside the bounds. But um, yeah, usually when I uh, I create them, they kind of get lost and just like start walking up against a wall for like ten hours and never actually make it to where I want them to go. So cool. All right. Um, we need some lighting now. Let's see. What kind of lamps do I want to put in here? I don't think we really need anything too fancy. Um, maybe a little nicer than that. Let's see. Disco ball. <laughs> no, not quite. Um, Alright, let's uh, go to USO version. Power, lights, ceiling. Yeah, I think that'll work. Put one there. Put one there. Here and one there. Cool. I don't really care if they're well. Okay, no, I do kind of care that they're not lined up. Let's kind of center you a little better and you a little bit. There we go. That's a little nicer looking. All right. Same thing for you and for you. I know some of you people with your OCD are like, "What are you doing? How can you not do that?" Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Now I'm gonna try and throw a rando settler in here again to see if I can get them to interact with the fish thing. I highly doubt it, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, workshop spawn. 
Brando. Wait. Wait. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic. How you doing? Wanna go cut some fish? Huh? Maybe I can point you to it. Oh, you assigned yourself to food. Um okay. Not quite what I wanted, but I pointed her towards it, but I don't think she's gonna interact with it. I'll try again. Let's see what happens. Nope. She's just gonna stand there. Okay. Whatever. Coming in pretty good. I tried. Okay. Um, let's see. Decorations. Wall decorations. Signs. Maybe. Oh, frozen. Frozen. There we go. Um, yeah. That's kind of an important sign. Let's stick this somewhere. Um, someplace where it actually can be seen. I'll just stick it right up there. Cool. Alright, but that's not what I was here for. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Small engine repair? No, that's not the right place. Mmm. Waffles. Books, pub, candy. Let's see, come on. Ah, sale. Let's stick a sale sign here. Whoa! Maybe Nox. Maybe we don't want to cover the fish. So. Let's stick our sail sign outside. On the thing here. There we go. We're having a fish sail. Okay. What do we got? Dun, 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 for rent? Nope. Not police. Bar Harbor Gifts. Ooh, fresh. Yes. Fresh seafood. Freshest in all of the wasteland. <coughs> fresh lobster, too. Oh yeah, we need this bad boy. Let's stick that right there. What do we got? Bah haba. Uh, uh, we got some whales. Nuke the whales. Ten thousand interwebs if you know what that's from. Um, let's see. Lobster roll. And again, we mostly have fish, but who cares? Let's just kind of throw it in here. We're just decorating, having some fun. No fish-flavored ice cream. Oh, that sounds so disgusting. Ugh. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Um, alright, cool. We has the store. Now we need, uh, I think that was from here. Furniture. Chairs. Seats. There it is. You can catch your own. Yeah, we might have to move some stuff around a little. It's gonna scoot you over there. And, uh, shoot. Bring you over like so. Nice. Whoops, a doodle. Look at that. You can catch your own fish. Then have them fillet them for you. Alright, let's put this one to bed. Let's get it a door. Structures. Doors. Let's see, what kind of door do we want to give this place? Barn metal, maybe? Eh, residential. Actually, a residential one would kind of look cool. Get one of these without the screen doors. We don't need the double door. Definitely want it auto closing. Oh, it's just, it is. Yeah, I see. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, and it only comes in orange, really? Lame. Alright, fine. It's orange. Cool. Open the door. Come in. Say hi. Get your fish. Get out. Cool. Okay, so since uh, these are all kind of out of bounds, we're going to have to use um, USO NPC guards. So let's go ahead and go into guards. And we're going to use... Let's see, I think a bunch of these guys, just because. So let's just kind of... Bonk. We got one there. We got our two there. We need one for that corner way over there. And I don't know what this guy is doing. Who are you? Oh, you're assigned to the post office and you got lost, apparently. <sighs> what a dummy. 
All right, let's throw you there. Now I know at some point I mentioned about putting a guard tower back in here, but I don't think Mayor McCheese would like that. What the heck was that noise? Oh wow, look at the alien hovering and <laughs> making dinner. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh man. That was worth it coming in here. That's so cool. I didn't know this uh um kitchen thing had an interaction like that. That's really cool. <laughs> You're just throwing meat. That's so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. I didn't know that that did that. Nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, I know I talked about putting a guard tower back here, but like I said, I don't think Mayor McCheese would want to see a guard tower like right that close to their house, and kind of lazy at the moment, so I'm just like, forget it. We don't need it. Plus, we got like a million other guard towers, and they all need populating, so I don't think I... Did I put any... Yeah, see, you're supposed to be up there, dude. And I don't know where the other one is. There he is. I had a feeling that's where they were. <laughs> oh, man, this game. Oops. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, jeez, turn off the snapping. That's just terrible. Okay. There we go. And that dude's still hanging out up there. That's cool. All right, let's come back over here. And we need some guards for these towers here. We'll put you right there. Excellent. You right here. Cool. And we need one for this corner here, of course. Bonk. All right, let's see. Get you a little closer. There you go, guy. Now you can kill all the super muties you can possibly handle. Now. Oh, that's right. I made this one here. I forgot about this guy. Definitely need somebody in there. Let me bonk you in there for a moment. And see if I can get up here. There we go, so I can move you much closer. There we go. We have guard towers. Cool. With guards. Very important. Alright. Oops. Let's do a save. Awesome. Alright. Now, this monstrosity. Huh. <sighs> Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I never could figure out what the heck I wanted to do with the railings. Um, and I never came in here during the live show to figure that out either. So, let me see. Let me look around here see if I can get some inspiration. Hmm. I suppose I really wanted to, but I don't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I can start tearing some stuff down and doing this and that, but I don't know if I want to go through all that trouble. But, it is too quiet in here, as I said ages ago. So I think I'm going to throw something in here that makes some noise. Of course, nothing's making any noise. So, we're going to get out of here and maybe try... Huh. Usually they make noise when I'm, like, cycling through them. Interesting. All right. Well, we have CPC. Let's see. Resources, power. Nope. Definitely don't like the sound of that one. Industrial. Got nice hums to them. Let me see. Um, water. Maybe I'll use that, because then it actually sounds like it's doing something. So, whoops, let's turn that off, turn that off. We're going to just hide this underneath here. Oops. Not that. Cool. Throw another one down here. Down there. Another one there. Now we have surround sound bubbling. Noise. Oh, like somebody taking a really gnarly bong hit. <laughs> Don't do trucks, kids. Bad for you. Cool. 
All right, we got some sound. All right. Um, oh, yeah. No, that's fine. I'm not going to mess with that. Cool. So I'm going to consider this one done, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some some doors. We're going with metal ones on here for obvious reasons. Uh, if it's not obvious to you, I don't know what to tell you. Not that one. Uh, uh, metal. Let's see. What do we got for auto closings? Um... Oh, got to turn my snap back on, dum-dum. Let's see, that one, that one. I really like those, except for the round corners. Then it just doesn't seem so, you know, watertight. So I think we're going to go with go with these guys. Put a couple of these in place. Throw another one up here. One in here. You can actually hear the bubbling up here, which is awesome. Cool. All right. Oh, that's a tire floating. So, I just remembered. I had discovered some doors that I can use. I've talked about doors for this thing ages ago. And um, nobody was able to really help me find the doors that I wanted. And then I found this uh, MDE hodgepodge. And there are s tons and tons of doors here including the ones in the style that I was looking for. But, again, they weren't big enough. And you say, well, just resize them. And that works, but it doesn't work. And we'll give it a shot, and I will show you exactly what I mean. Um, I think, there we go. These are the bad boys I wanted. Huge metal door. Um, let's see. Let's get a little closer to that edge so I can stick one here. And let's see. Oops. That's what I wanted to do. I can get close enough. Oh, jeez, I fell in the water. Okay, so... Let's uh, get out of the water here. <laughs> so, size-wise, it's almost to the size that I need. So let's go ahead and pick you up and bring you over here. And let's see. So we're just going to kind of lay you next to it at the moment. So as you can see, it's not quite big enough. I need it to be the same size as the barn door there. And I'm going to try making this one a little bit bigger, which there we go. Okay, so we got that going. But now, in the f past, when I've tried to do this and I make my other door, it won't resize. It'll resize like once, and then it becomes like an inanimate object, and I have to use the disable code to get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and try that. Uh, which door are you? You are a right. So we want, hopefully, a left. So let's see if that works. Um, make sure that this opens the proper way first, so we'll just kind of make one. Okay, it does close. Now, let's see, how big did I make you? So let's shrink you on 130%. So let's go one, and it opens, which I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it just does. Two, three. Oh, we are actually in business. This is actually going to work. Holy potatoes. Okay. So, oh, and the door just bonks me right inside. <laughs> oh, man, that was classic. All right, so let's go ahead and take these doors out and... Let's kind of put these ones in to where I want them. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to kind of keep it low down into the water. Now, let's just kind of grab that dude. This guy over here. And let's match these up. Like so. I want to turn off. Nope, not that. Turn that back on. Turn off my timeout. Uh, it's probably going to reset itself, but... Oh, jeez, yes, yeah, see, these aren't even close. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's why I want to... Now I need a floor to work with. How far? So let's use... Eh, construction, wood, floor. Excellent. Boop. Alright, now we got a floor. Now, let's take you... Ugh, we're not going to be cooperative. They don't like it when you resize them, so. Now we're going to just 
scooch in like so, make sure I don't fall. And it's going to jump out of alignment again. Alright, let's bring you right around there. And let's grab you from the top, because you're going to do that. Bring you over. And you're going to do it again, so I'm going to have to... Yeah, see, I'm going to have to make these even bigger. They're still not quite big enough. And, uh, make sure that I'm straight. Go like so for now, and I want to do the same thing with this one. Make sure that I'm straight, and then kind of scooch it back. All right, so just in case, let's do a quick save. Hop back in one more time on each one. Hopefully, okay. They did not screw me up. Excellent. Go ahead and do that, and you're going to be difficult. Oh, geez, in the water again. Whoa! Oh, and I missed it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a mod that you can just fly around. I just, I don't use it because, as I said before, there are plenty of people that want to try to learn how to do some of this building stuff on, like, console. Um, you know, speaking specifically about PlayStation. Ooh. That, oh, that's that floating tire. Okay. And you can't get that mod on PlayStation, so I want to show you some techniques on how to do this nice without having access to awesome mods like that. Okay. Now let's see if I can open my doors. No, nope, they're too far away. So let's turn this back on. Bonk. There we go. Now we open our doors. I just wish they made a better sound, but, you know, it is what it is. And there we go. These are the big honking doors that I've always wanted, and I've had access to them through USO, but they would only open, like, the tiniest little bit. They wouldn't open wide like this one, so now we actually have it, so that's really, really cool. So now our boat can fully get in and out. There we go. How cool is that? Plus, it looks really nice. From out here, it actually looks like, you know, heavy-duty metal security doors. I mean, how cool is that? Hey, dude, how you doing? You got your boat after everybody made a big stink. You got a boat so you can stay dry. Okay. Now, we are just about finished. I do have some fun ideas here that, uh want to kind of play around with, so, um, first things first, let's hunt on over to USO, decorations, no, my stupid thing is lagging behind, um, nature, plants, trees, orange, let's go for a red dude, give me that guy, oops, actually grab it, and we're gonna stick it there, I'm going to throw a couple of trees in and around the, the crash site here to... Uh, not all of them were damaged and burned, so... Let's go ahead and stick that guy here somewhere. So, we're going to, you know, create some... semblance of ambiance and normalcy <laughs> around the fact that, you know, an alien spaceship did crash here, so... Throw one of these guys in here. Let's get a pine tree somewhere. Uh, let's see, where do we want to stick a pine tree? How about... got a pine tree... Right... Here somewhere, so... Take you... Oops. Find your grab spot, there we go. There we go. Cool. Now, I have this whole side of the road that I had a couple ideas with that, uh... I'm gonna play around with. I don't know if it's gonna be too busy or not. Um, so for... Starters, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember where the heck I used to see that all the time. There's a, oh, yeah, candles and lamps, um, these guys, I don't know if these actually put off light though, so let's go ahead and change the time real fast, and make it, uh, 3 a.m. so everything's dark. Time, time. 
3 a.m. That change? There we go. Sweet. Now we can actually see if these give off light or not. Oh, they do. Perfect. So I was thinking, I'm just gonna line a whole bunch of these down the street. Oh, we got a rad storm coming in. Of course we do. So we're gonna have to change that. <laughs> I want clear weather. I don't want thunder boom booms in my ears as I'm trying to do this. Cool. Alright, this way I can really fully concentrate on what's going on here. So, for now I'm just going to throw them all into place. I'll straighten them all out afterwards. This way I can just get them all here and see if I like the look to begin with. Because um, there's other stuff I want to do with it as well. This side of the road, I mean. So, we're going to figure that out together. Unfortunately, it's not a live stream, so you can't tell me, but... Whatever. So, since this is going to be... Ooh, I think... Eh, let's put one in there. What the hell? Um, since this is the finale, no matter what you tell me, I am not coming back to change anything. Because you wouldn't see it. Because I'm not making any more videos for this settlement, so... Yeah, I like that. That looks really cool. Alright, so... I'm going to start with that. And now I'm going to go back and fix all of them so they're all where they should be. And let's see. Like so. Down a smidgen. Like so. Get you actually onto the thing. Like so. And you kind of straighten you a little bit. And yeah. I just noticed this too, that I was talking about possibly taking this out. So boom, there we go, it's out. Now we have uh, the ability to come from one dock to the other. I don't care if it really makes sense or not, but... Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. That's another thing too. <laughs> Sometimes when you grab these things, it'll like lock onto your jetpack when you have ultimate uh, unlimited jetpack like I do, and you'll just end up like flying way high into the air. Crazy stuff. Uh... Now that I'm looking in the background there, too, I think the outside of the water plant could use a little lighting as well, so we're going to tackle that next after we're done getting all these bad boys into place. One there. Uh, straighten you out. We're going to do it. I don't care that it's like right on top of the rockets. There's a stone post there, so it should have its own light. go. Cool. Now it is all lit up. And yeah, I had to also thought about something here, but I think I'm just going to have to say, ooh, that doesn't look right. Get rid of that. I don't know how that happened. Um, ah, whatever. It's good enough. Okay. So I want to put some lights on the outside here, so we're just going to go for some Simple ones. Do, 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 do. These dudes, because they're industrial looking and this is industrial, so we just need a couple around the door basically. And we'll stick one every once in a while here to kind of light the way. Nothing too crazy. Um, stick one here. Bonk. One more. I've spent so much time downloading mods for this and that that I hardly ever use, like, the standard lights that came with this thing, and uh, it's nice to use them every once in a while, especially when they fit the motif. And... Right there. Another one. Another one. Again, I'm not really caring if they're perfect or anything, just because I'm trying to wrap this up, so... I mean, if you were building along or trying to get ideas, obviously take as much time as you want to put these things so that they're absolutely perfect. But at the moment, I don't really care. So we're just kind of throwing them in here. There we go. And of course, as Bob Ross would say, don't piddle it to death. Nice. Okay, all lit up. Um, the docks here. Do I really care if we have lights on the docks? I mean... It would look kind of cool. Did somebody just fall over there? 
Dude, what are you doing? How hard is it to, like, you know, kneel down and play with the vegetables? Yeah, you're a hoe. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, but you can't even do that. You just, like, fall when you're trying to, you know, garden. That's, that's messed up. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Um, Security-wise and otherwise. I have other ideas. All right, so let's go right into our turrets because I want... Um, dum, 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 dum. Uh, there we go. I want some of these dudes. Oh, wait, no, that's the scanner one. I want just the regular spotlight one. Did I miss that? I must have. So if you've never seen the laser scanner one, it's actually kind of neat. Um, here, I'll make one so you can see what it does. It does that, and it scans, like, way far out. I was actually going to use it in a build I just did on Spectacle Island, but it ends up, like going out like 10 miles <laughs> it's just it would have ruined the ambiance and the effect I was going for um yeah I guess I don't have my regular okay maybe we'll have to find it in USO so let's go check here defense turrets and uh hopefully it'll work off of my wireless power which it should oh you don't you suck I know I've used them before without having to actually throw power to them so all right, never mind. I don't care. Um, we got guards up there. Maybe I'll figure something out in a minute. But for now, I'll go back to my original idea. And give me, let's see. Yeah, something like this. So, I want to put these. Let me put one here. And another one like so. Go <coughs> here. That. And let's see. These guys go here. Actually, you know what? Let's make it daylight so we can actually see what the heck's going on here. Um, uh, cheat. Game, world, time, time, 9 a.m. So we have all day to work. Cool. All right, onward. Uh, let's see, let's throw in some different color trees here now. Give me, yeah, one of these bad ones here. And let's stick you there. And one of those. And one of those. And... Yep. One of these. And one of those. Alright. Now let's put them all into place. Bonk. R. Actually, wait. No, you were way off. Great. There. Great. About there. Oh, oh, because yeah, I was like, wait, why is that so close together? Yeah. There's steps there, dum-dum. Uh, there. Oh, I ran out of trees. Uh, Alright, let's give me some red ones then. Nice. Stick you. There. One, that one. That one's pretty. Make sure you are... Your maximum height. Stick you. Oop. There. Nice. Got a little bit of a rainbow tree effect going on. That's pretty cool. Um, and I don't think we can really fit one down here because we have the walkway. Maybe we'll stick like a real small doer. How's that look? And maybe he's got a little friend. Right there. These are the new kids on the block. <laughs> Who remembers those guys? Oh man, really date myself now. All right, let's see. Cool. Now, um, I probably could have done the same thing on the other side, but it's kind of hard now because of all the stuff that I put in the way. But we can uh, add some more trees to kind of make it look a little more uniformed in a sense. So let's go ahead and. Grab one of these guys and uh, try to make sure he does not interfere with 
Um, the power lines. Yeah, that's not too bad. And, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, there we go. That's our excuse that, uh, we have all these power lines in the way, so we couldn't have trees. Except for this one, who was bent out of the way, so. There we go. Uh, he's already messing with that tree that's already over there. That's cool. Whatever. And we'll stick one. Maybe. Maybe one survived and didn't get burned. Let's go ahead and grab. Yeah, this dude here. Nice, good orange colored one. But we'll have to bury him in there a little bit because of all the crap that got pushed onto him. Um, let's see, is that going to work? That's a little close to the sidewalk. And if I put you there. Um, yeah, I think that works. He's the, he's the lucky tree that did not get completely destroyed when the spaceship crashed. Cool. Now we have all kinds of trees. Uh, we've got some people. we got some lights. I was also thinking of doing street lights. Maybe we'll do that real fast to close this out. Let's do a quick save. Not a quick save, but a fast save. And let's see. Now we want street lights. So let me see. What do we have here? For street lights. Um, actually, I kind of like these. So I like these because they hang over in one direction, which we can do, like, here along the road this way. And also because they have the square bottom, so it makes them fairly easy to line up. Boom. So that they, you know, aren't just crooked and whatever. So now we just got to kind of place these, like, every once on a blue moon. Um, actually, let's, uh, go back to nighttime. It's so this way, because what I want to do when I do my street lights um, world, is I like to do it at night because I want to keep my spacing between the lights uh, at a very specific interval. And you'll see what I mean in a second, hopefully. Alright, so you see all the lights splash down from this one, and then we have all the lights splash coming down from this one. So I want to take this, and you see how we got that little shadow in between there now? See how we got the shadow building? That's kind of what I like to do, is I kind of like to space them so that there's just the tiniest little bit of a shadow in between them. And that helps create, like, a, a spotlight effect as you would coming, you know, down the road. And that's kind of what you would see in, like, a normal neighborhood anyway. These things wouldn't be so close together that they would be overlapping that much. You would have kind of a gap like that. And so I like to do that because it kind of keeps it natural. And I know it's going to kind of double up on our lights that we have going there, but those are more decorative... And these are actually kind of functional for the street, so um, you know, hopefully they're not going to detract too much from the other lighting. And uh, maybe we'll even throw some over here on the other side of the street, just to make it look a little nicer. Let's go ahead and boop, fast drop, and then we'll come in and fix these. Make sure that we have enough. Cool. So we'll start from there. Come back y'all. And make sure we got ourselves some good proper overlappage. So let's go ahead and take you down a little bit. And so now we're starting to get our little bit of a shadow. We'll go ahead and plant that one there. Which means you're gonna come way down over here. Cool. You go right about here. So now you see we have our little bit of spacing between all the different lights there. That's the kind of effect that I'm going for. Because it looks more natural as to what you would see in real life. So there's a little tip for you for uh, realistic, in a sense, building. Versus just having like a million of these all over the place that are on top of each other. And like, yeah, it's nice to have everything like very evenly lit, but it's not going to look like that in real life. So if you want that realistic look, that's kind of, in my opinion, what you should be looking for. So, all right, let's put you so, and our last little dude, just sit right there. Boom. All right. So now we want to kind of do the same thing. And now to try to keep these in line with each other, where's my light? Uh, Let's see. Okay. 
I want to try to keep these lined up, uh, one, because it looks good, and two, because it helps keep those shadows as well, those uh, differentiating shadows. And actually, you know what? We're going to have a big gap here because of all this mess. Um, I don't know if I have any broken laying down streetlights. I'll have to look. If I do, it's probably in, like, CVC or something. So, all right. So this dude survived. So I'll go ahead and put you here. Now, let's see, how are we? Let's bring you over just a smidgen. That's better. All right, so now we'll go ahead, come here, put one, and just kind of plant it. Bring you over just a little bit, kind of going off of the line here. Um, same thing here, this is kind of here. We'll just stick you there. Next one is right here. Oh, right in near the midst of all this schmutz. So let's go ahead and stick you down here. Let's see, where are you? You are almost centered-ish. So let's go ahead and take you. Put you right about there. And as you can see, we still have our, our shadows separating, so we're good. Um, let's go ahead and just throw a couple of these in so we can figure them out later as we go along. All right, cool. So now you go right about here. And they don't have to be perfect. I mean, nobody's going to really notice. Just want to make sure that you have your things straight, that's all. Otherwise, that's going to stand out, and it's probably going to end up bugging you. All right, so we are right about here. Make sure we are aligned. Like so, and this guy is going to go, is that the right way? That's the right way. Okay. we got that power line above head, so and plus we've got to sink this down a little bit. It's supposed to be like buried under all the dirt they're digging. And oof, we are like right on the power lines, that's not cool. Uh, oh, and we got to go forward. So, let's go ahead and do that, and... That's just poor city planning. But I'll take it. <laughs> Who cares? Um, nice. All right. And there we go. As you can see, we still have our shadows in between all of it. It looks really, really nice. Helps lights up the trees and the ground and everything. Cool. And, uh, yeah, we even have some light right here around the entryway. Alright, let's do a little cleanup. Let's get rid of the post. We don't need that. We can get rid of the one in the water as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. If you don't remember, that was marking the boundaries for how far out I can build before the uh, thing exited, the workshop exited. Cool. Alright. Now, let's see. Let me go back and look at my defense again. Um... We have turret stands, garbage. Not what I'm looking for. And I can't believe I don't have... I thought I had just regular spotlight ones that would work. Um, with being wireless, but apparently not. So, <coughs> if that's the case, um, I'm gonna have to hook up some batteries. And I'm gonna use batteries because I don't want to hear the sound of the generators plus the guard posts themselves going, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and put some real defense out here with these things. I'm going to put one right here. And we'll put one I don't know, right here. And then I think over here I have some batteries. Maybe maybe not. Could be out no, somewhere else. Um, let's check CVC. Resources, power, generators, not here. Um, actually, no, what, what was that? Yeah. Natural power. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to use those. Um, maybe we'll check Homemaker. If not, then it might just be under my regular one nowadays. Let's see, power. Generators. Nope, oh, okay. Then maybe it is. Let's go back there and check real fast. Generators, windmill, big things. Um, ah, here we go, makeshift battery. That produces one, and you need two. So it'll 
pick up a couple of batteries. And put them in line with each other. Oh, you automatically went to the thing. That's there we go. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and put you there. You there. Get you guys in line. There we go. We got some spoot lights. Cool. Alright, let's go do the same thing on the other side then. And then I think we're done. I think we're officially done. Um, Alright, Mayor McCheese. I mean, hang on. Yeah, your front porch looks a little dark. Hang on. Alright, let's... Um, light ceiling. Not what I'm looking for. Um, where in the heck did I see that? Let's check here real fast. Wall, floor, ceiling. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um, no. Well, check here too. Lights. Whoa. Not quite. What the heck? Oh, spotlight. I was like, what the heck is that? Um, let's see. Nope. Nope, nope. Not again. Uh, oh, I think it was actually here, maybe. What I'm thinking of. There we go. That little doer. Whoa, that's a bright sucker. Nice. Alright. Don't really care about the post orifice. They don't really need light there. You don't really operate uh, during dark hours, so. Alright. Power. Nope. Um, defense turrets. Nice. Let's get you there. You. There. Alright, now we need some power. All power. Generators. There we go. Need a couple of batteries. One there. One there. Really care. That one's kind of floating. Alright. There. There. Connect. Ah, you did that. Connect. Boom. Now we can see enemies are coming. We got our guards chilling out up there. And here we go. You have Taffington Boathouse Settlement. Nice. Oh, I never put doors back on the building there. <laughs> and I think we need maybe one little light on the outside here too. So we're going to do that same light that I used from here. Light. Oop, oop, oop. Just because it puts off so much light. And it's simple. And, nope, not that one. There we go. And it's simple and it works. So we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to stick it right here, I think. Nah, well, right there. Cool. And I don't think we need any more there. And I never decided what I wanted to do with this fence. You know what? So we're going to get rid of it. We don't need it. Get rid of it. Scrap it. Bye bye. Cool. Alright. Um, doors. I'm just going to put some simple doors in here again. I don't remember which ones I used. Oh, I think I used the ones from one of the others, so we're just going to skip that and go right to my normal ones. Um, warehouse. Oh, that's right, because I wanted ones that didn't have broken glass, but you know what? Who cares? Boop. And boop. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, one thing that kind of bugs me is that there's no railing there. People are having to sleep in shit. Or there. Making everyone a bit there are plenty of beds, dude. Don't make me shoot you in the face. Right? 18. Oh, there isn't. Oh, okay. I apologize. I forgot about all the extra guards I threw in here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. I don't care. Um... 90% of the times when I do my builds, I'm always short on beds anyway, and I don't really care because I don't really build it for them. I build it for me. Let's see. Now we're going to go here and get on deck and start here. I think... Oh, there isn't one short enough to go in there. Okay. Yeah, so... Is what it is. Um, I do have an idea, though. Maybe I can 
do something a little fun with that. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay, I have an idea. Um... Where, 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 where? Let's go into... No. Here. And... Actually, you know what? Better idea. I think. Let's find out. Structures. Woodies. Building. Miscellaneous. Do we have what I'm looking for here? If not, I have another idea. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, I suppose that'll work. I'm just gonna... Put this here. And that way you can go swimming. So now it serves a purpose. Even though we have that, I'm just kind of considering that a little lookout dock thing. But now you can just walk straight down here. And then do the same thing here. Create some little steps because... Just because. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. I suppose I should use maybe the same style as that one there. So, um... Alright, let's check it out real quick. Now I am piddling it to death, so... Uh, back here... We want house and steps. These are big. These are smaller. Alright, let's get rid of that. Maybe we'll kind of finagle this in here. There it is! I used the word finagle. And we'll kind of do this. Yeah, I think that's going to look much better. Yeah, that actually kind of looks like it belongs now. So let's kind of boop that up just a tiny smidgen. Let me turn off my highlight. Yeah, that looks so much nicer. I like that. Alright. So we'll keep that, and yeah, I just have the, oh, I just only have that one support here, that seems kind of, I guess I forgot about that. Okay, so let's kind of see if we can fix that. Let's see if we can get the right same supports. Here. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's turn our snap back on. Boom, put that there. Because I want to try to match these, and actually you've got to go, because you don't match. Boom! Oh, but you're too far over. Alright, so let's... Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Close enough. Oh, jeez, and of course you do that. Ugh, this game. Maybe that's why I didn't have that there, who knows. Alright, and let's see, you guys all in the front are actually different, so... Maybe we'll keep it like that, half and half. That looks kind of cool. And then, yeah, I gotta fix that. That is bugging the heck out of me. And then... Oh! Perfect! It fixed itself. Nice! And then I kind of considered, too, about possibly doing something here, but these don't line up, really. I'm gonna have to scooch these over to, like, be even with that. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to consider that the design. Uh, there we go. Oh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Cool. Alright, let's uh, come back into here. Game. World. Time. Time. We get midday. Excellent. And you know, let's just fix the weather, because it looks like it's going to rain soon. Alright. World weather clear. Awesome. Alright. Turn on our free cam. You take off like Spooderman. Superman? Spoonerman? Spooderman? Whatever. There we go. There is our completed settlement of Teffington Boathouse. You saw it here, sometimes live, sometimes not. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the series. Uh, I know I had a blast. Um, it was so much fun uh, reading your comments and taking a bunch of suggestions from you all. And the live stream was just so much fun. Um, I wish I could have finished all of this then, but as you can see, this took an extra two hours, so that probably would have been about a five to six or so hour live stream that probably would have just ended up killing me so but uh yeah there we go
And uh, there will be other live streams. Uh, I don't know when and where, but uh, at some point uh, I will be doing them. Maybe one or two per live or um, let's build settlement. Uh, speaking of which, coming up next we have Adam Cat's Garage. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be jumping right into it, or there might be a gap of like a week or so in between. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, I've been so freaking busy with doing this stuff, uh, you know, recording, streaming, etc. And it just gets to be a bit much as time goes on, and so I need to kind of space things out a little bit. And, oh, I see we missed a guard tower back here. Oh, geez. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, anyway, yeah, just uh, it fills up my schedule a lot more than you might think between recording and producing and whatnot, so... Um, I might just take a little bit of time to just kind of recoup and go from there. And definitely looking forward to Adam Cat's Garage. I put up a poll sort of a question on here on YouTube asking what kind of stuff you want to see for the settlement. And got some really cool ideas from some of you folks. And so we're going to go with that and have a blast. And uh, it's definitely going to be a strong 50s theme because, oh man, that's totally misaligned. Well... Don't do that, kids. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. I think you guys are really going to like that one. And, um, yeah, there we go. So until next time, don't get irradiated.